Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is about a theory video. This video is not intended for children under the age of 13 years old and if the comments are off it's because YouTube did it, not me. I am Daisy Spines, here to discuss a theory about why equestrian magic is weaker in the modern world of Gen 5, which I am calling the magic equilibrium theory. And just to set it up, I know that there is indeed magic. I'm just saying that the magic for some reason is notably weaker than in Gen 4. And me and many others have speculated as to why. It could have something to do with the mechanics of the unity crystals somehow buffering the magic down, but that was never really confirmed. It said hypothetically, so long as everyone's getting along like the crystals want, be just as powerful in most aspects. We know that there's some implications of magic being taken away for a while, but they're not fully explored. The main one being what happened to the Crystal Empire. The Crystal Empire is protected by magic, and the storm surrounding it has never been noted as being particularly magical in nature. So it's been debated before, but I am going to speculate today that it is magical in nature, and it just disappeared when they took away magic in Equestria. No crystal magic, no sealed magic, no magical storm, right? So I'm assuming that's the case. Because I think it actually makes some level of sense now, at least in Gen 5. And I don't want to think that they all died by freezing to death. I'm sorry, it's just too morbid. <laughs> They've been through too much of crystal ponies. Another thing that's been brought up as an implication is some animals are more magical than they previously were. Particularly like dogs. So maybe the magic has been reallocated amongst the species since the Unity Crystal somehow. One thing I'm going to bring up is the fact that Equestria Girls had never resolved the portal situation. At the end of Friendship Games, Sai Twai, in her evil form, destroyed the portal at CHS, and it sent magic out into the world of Equestria Girls, which had ripple effects throughout the entire latter half of the franchise. These portals were never properly dealt with or sealed up within the mainline So or Equestria Girls. Both of them never resolved this. So some have been suggesting that more and more magic started leaking from Equestria because of these unresolved portals. And over the course of about two years, you wouldn't have noticed in the mainline so, but let's just say a few hundred years out into Twilight's rule, that might have actually been a notable chain in the world. And that's why I call it magic equilibrium. Basically, I think the, que the Equestria Girls world has 50% of Equestria's magic. And Equestria has 50% of, of magic that they previously had. There is very little proof against it, but there's very little proof for it, which is why this isn't a weird hypothesis. Another thing I'll bring up on the Unity Crystals is it could be linked to something else that was never fully explained about them in Gen 5, which I'm not going to rule out, but I don't think that's going to be a major issue. One thing that has been brought up before are the Wendigos. Wendigos are repelled by magic, but they're also made of magic, so they disappeared when the magic disappeared. I've heard people bring them up, but if they're inherently magical and you take away magic, they just don't exist anymore. <laughs> the Equestria Girls universe would have some weird implications by having their magic as rampant as it would become if 50% of all of Equestria's magic was there. The main one being those like awful vine things that always attack the Equestria Girls characters near portals and stuff that are accidentally opened. Those would definitely be a safety risk, albeit our girls would be- But where do you stand on this magic debate? Do you believe the Unity Crystals were ever even a good idea? Do you think that somehow they're not fully accessible? Do you think that the reason Sunny does not have a full set of alicorn wings and a horn that's permanent on her body is because there's not enough magic left to do so in the Unity Gems? I'm going to bring up the fact that Four alicorns worth of magic is the equivalent of all Pegasus magic, all Earth Pony magic, and all Unicorn magic in all of Equestria except the Crystal Empire. All those combined is four alicorns worth of magic. So hypothetically, even though the Unity Gem should have a few alicorns worth of magic by that logic, like Twilight's magic in particular, it could just be that there's not enough magic left in the gem for whatever reason to even make a full alicorn anymore. With the amount of power being that immense, being needed, it's like in low supply. And there's a chance that this has some effects on areas outside of Equestria, because there are magical gems and artifacts in the areas outside as well. But Gen 5 never touched on those, so I'm not going to really go into it. If you enjoyed this video, 
please consider like, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, this is just a hypothesis or theory. I am not claiming any of this is 100% true, 100% correct, or that I know anything about the inner workings of these franchises and the writers. All I'm saying is my opinion and my little theory. And I want to thank you. This has been Daisy Spines. Bye!